If we want to talk about health issues in California, then skin cancer needs to be right at the top. More than 8,000 new cases of melanoma, which is the most deadly form of skin cancer, will be diagnosed here in California this year. We are seeing an alarming trend. More and more young women are being diagnosed with more advanced stages of melanoma. We're also seeing something else that's unusual. We're now seeing more melanoma on the breast, the trunk, and the groin. And those are areas that aren't typically exposed to sunlight. So what's the culprit? Most likely it's the tanning bed. So as a dermatologist, I would like to tell you what I think is important to know about ultraviolet or UV radiation. There are two main types of ultraviolet rays. UVB is the burning ray. That's easy to remember. That's the ray that causes sunburn on a sunny day. UVA is a longer wavelength ray, and it is the aging ray. It goes through clouds, so that's what causes sunburn on a cloudy day. Because it's a longer wavelength, it also penetrates the skin a little bit more deeply and is responsible for photoaging. Now, when UVB and UVA radiation accumulates in the skin, that's where we get into trouble. It all happens at the DNA level. DNA is made of various proteins. They're the building blocks of life. But UVA and UVB rays damage a specific protein in your DNA. This damaged protein is responsible for tanning your skin, and it's the same protein that transforms a cell into producing skin cancer. So now we know. Potentially life-threatening DNA damage can happen just when we tan our skin. You don't even need to get a burn to increase your risk of skin cancer. That's why I tell my patients there is no such thing as a safe tan. So what can you do today to help prevent skin cancer? Well, the first thing you can do is stay out of the tanning booth. If you want to tan, spray it on or rub it on. This is safe. Tip number two, block it out. This is a shot glass full of my SPF 30 plus sunscreen. And this is how much you need to use 15 minutes before you go out in the sun and every two hours that you are in the sun. This is the same amount that you need to use after swimming and sweating. Now that we have sunscreen on, it's time to cover up. Here is my broad brim sun hat, my sun shirt with its tightly woven fabric. This is my swim shirt. And I always remember my SPF 20 protective lip balm. I keep this stuff handy so that I can grab it when I'm on the go. Tip number three, time your exposure. Did you know that the sun's rays are most intense between the hours of 10 and 2? So if you're out in the sun at that time, find a tree or an umbrella or a pop-up. Seek some shade. Just knowing where the sun is and acting responsibly can greatly reduce your risk of skin cancer. Remember, there will be over 8,000 new cases of melanoma diagnosed in the state of California this year, and I don't want you to be one of them. As far as fashion is concerned, well, they're saying pale is the new tan anyway. So with that in mind, have a sun safe day.